Okay, so um, I'm going to walk into the room and perform my pre-procedure steps. So I'm going to use two patient identifiers to make sure that this is our patient. We're correctly restraining the right limb. I'm going to perform hand hygiene. I'm going to check my physician's orders. I'm going to provide privacy, raise the bed to the appropriate height, and um, gather my supplies, which I have, which is my restraint, and explain to her what we're doing today. So, um, upon restraining, I'll lower the bed rails if I need to, which I don't in this case, and I'm going to um, apply the restraint with the cushion side down in order to preserve skin integrity. I'm going to make sure that it is not too tight by um, inserting two fingers underneath and making sure that she has enough room as to not occlude any blood vessels. I am going to use a slip knot so that I can <clears throat> easily remove the restraint if I need to, but it will be too impossible for her to. I am Sister Mary Beth Ginoli, a member of the Sisters of St. Francis of Oldenburg and a 1978 graduate of Marion. I am privileged to serve as Vice President for Mission Effectiveness here at Marion. On behalf of the Sisters of St. Francis of Oldenburg, Indiana, I would like to extend congratulations to each of you. Thank you for being an important part of Marion University and for your willingness to be of transformative service to the world. Let us pause to remember that we are in the presence of our Creator. God of all healing, we ask you to be with us today as the members of the class of 2020 take this important step in their health-giving ministry. We ask you to bless their hearts with compassion and kindness. Bless their hands with skill and tenderness. Bless their minds with knowledge and wisdom. May they always remember that the true purpose of their calling is selfless service and true dedication to each person they encounter. We ask these blessings in all your holy names. Amen. Hello, I'm Marcia Casey, the Interim Senior Vice President of Health Professions here at Marion University. I'd like to welcome you to your virtual 2020 Nursing Penny. This is an exciting time. I know we all wish this was not virtual and we were together to share this with our family and friends, our fellow students, our faculty and staff. I remember fondly my own pinning many years ago now, and it was a great joy to share it with so many in person. I hope you have a chance to somehow, in a healthy and uh, happy way, can share this virtually. I know that this is such an important time this is a culmination of many years of work, and now you're headed off into a professional career. We're in this time of pandemic. It's even that more critical that we have 
great Marion University nurses uh, helping us in our community to stay safe and uh, healthy. So we wish you Godspeed and enjoy this virtual 2020 pinning. Again, welcome. Hello, I'm Dorothy Gomez and I serve as Dean at the Layton School of Nursing at Marion University. I welcome all of the students, family, and friends that are watching this pinning here tonight. I applaud all your efforts to social distance during this pandemic. I always think about my own pinning when I attend these celebrations, but I can say for the class of 2020, you'll certainly have a unique story to tell. Think back to the first day of your clinical when you learned how to wash your hands. Now think about today, and I bet you had to teach many of your families and friends how to wash their hands properly. On May 12th, 2020, Florence Nightingale would have been 200 years old. Noted as the founder of modern nursing, she provided many lessons that are still in use today. She emphasized sanitation in the environment to decrease the spread of infection. She also maintained statistics to monitor the control of diseases. These are important today as they were in, 18, in the 1850s. You have chosen the career that Florence Nightingale founded Nurses have been in the forefront of wars, epidemics, and pandemics throughout history. Nurses make a difference in society, and now it's your turn. You have chosen a career that makes a real difference. You will be a leader in healthcare. You will learn something new every day. Who wouldn't want to belong to a career that that happens? You have the privilege of caring for others when many would turn away. You are a Marian nurse, and you can change the world. Enjoy your watch party. Celebrate all that you have accomplished. I hope we can all be together again soon to celebrate this accomplishment. The faculty and I wish you the very best as you embark on this wonderful career. Thanks. The recipient of the Clinical Excellence Award has incorporated liberal arts and nursing education to form a foundation for nursing practice. Throughout the program, the recipient has consistently demonstrated professional growth and clinical excellence in the healthcare environment by utilizing caring behaviors to promote self-actualization of individuals, families, and the community. The recipient has operationalized the nursing process employed therapeutic communication techniques with individuals, families, and the community, and integrated nurse educator, researcher, advocate, collaborator, and communicator characteristics in the practitioner role. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, the Clinical Excellence Award for Summer 2020 is presented to Allison Anderson. The recipient for the Franciscan Values Award is generous in giving of self and provided excellence in nursing care while protecting the dignity of individuals. A person who upholds peace and justice, reconciliation, and responsible stewardship. The recipient has excelled in the ability to provide excellence in nursing representative of the Franciscan Values. Upon the recommendation of the Faculty of the School of Nursing, the Franciscan Values Award for Summer 2020 is presented to Sarah Mastellers. The recipient for the Student Mentor Award has maintained a positive attitude and possesses strong interpersonal skills. Throughout the program, the recipient has consistently demonstrated commitment to others by supporting, affirming, inspiring and motivating student peers to achieve their potential. The recipient truly cared about the other students and this, their success in this rigorous program. Upon the recommendation of the graduating class, the Student Mentor Award for Summer 2020 is presented to Dana Bednowitz. Congratulations to all of you. Hello and good evening. I'm Chad Darling, and it is an honor for me to be speaking to you today on behalf of the 2020 Summer Nursing Class. Thank you for watching, 
and celebrating with us today. For it's a remarkable day. It's a day we leave the classroom. We leave the safety of school to go care for people who need us. And we're trained to do that. We're trained successfully. And for that, thank you to the instructors, to the clinical instructors and the didactic instructors, to the administration team, recruiting, and our academic success coach. Thank you for caring for us, for challenging us, and for absorbing question after question. For you knew this world that we are now entering better than we could have imagined. And it was through your guidance and instruction that molded this group of people from all walks of life and a variety of previous professions into a talented group of nurses. Thank you for making the hand-washing check off the most terrifying hand-washing experience ever, for being there when we primed our first IV tubing, for when we gave our first injection, or pulled our first insulin. Thank you for confusing the heck out of us at times, <laughs> for it's those trials and events that are necessary to become a good nurse and to grow into what we are today. And a special thank you to our friends and families for questioning us for wanting to go get another bachelor's degree and to become nurses. For that shaped our resolve. Thank you for being a shoulder for when nursing school got a bit overwhelming. Thank you especially for being here today, for standing proud with us. For you knew, better than we knew, what a blessing it is to have a nurse in the family. And so to you, my fellow classmates, we did it. We are nurses. And what a privilege that is. And though we may lose some of the knowledge that we learned as we head off into our specialties, it's the wisdom that we gained that is portable and life-changing. For our destination wasn't just to become nurses, but it was to be able to see the world differently, to assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate. That is the nursing process, but it's also a fine roadmap to a good life. And I know we never thought this day would come. We crossed off our massive to-do lists and uh, our calendars, and we counted down the hours. But to be here now, I'm so proud and so happy for you, for me. But I'm also a bit sad because we're leaving behind our teachers and mentors and friends who in no small way changed our lives forever. But I tell you this, as your eldest classmate, that when I'm sick or hurting, and I look up from my hospital bed and I see you, I'll know I'm in good hands. So with all my heart, I wish you the best and I pray that I get to work with you someday. The History of the Nursing Pin Students of the BSN graduating class in 1991 originally designed Marion University's BSN nursing pin. The student's goal was to indicate the interrelationship of the nursing program with Marion University's community. The blue and gold symbolizes Marion's colors and was designed with a Marion University emblem in the center. It encircles the Latin phrase, Sedis Sapientiae, meaning the seat of wisdom, 
which refers to Mary in whose lap rested the Lord Jesus, the wisdom of God. The lamp of knowledge is placed below the phrase to symbolize the nurse's commitment to knowledge and caring in the rich tradition of Florence Nightingale. Both the seal and the lamp are placed on the cross, signifying that nursing is centered on spirituality and caring. Encompassing all of these are the words Bachelor of Science in Nursing, which symbolizes how nursing keeps all of the elements central to providing quality patient care. Hello, my name is Father John Raphael, and I am a chaplain at St. Thomas West Hospital. It is a real honor and a privilege to join with the Marrying You community for the spinning ceremony. This is the second time now that we gather virtually and not in person because of the pandemic. And this particular class has perhaps been affected more than previous ones by the new circumstances. But it is just a reminder to us that in the call that you all have responded to, the call to be nurses, the call to go out and to be the hands, the heart, the eyes, the feet of Jesus and the people that you serve, that your experience has been formed and shaped in these difficult times giving you the empathy and the compassion that you will need as you go forward now to, to, to live out the mission, the great mission of marrying you and St. Thomas, of so, uh, Francis and Claire, of Vincent and Louise. And so today we celebrate you, we honor you, we thank you and your families and friends and all who have supported you. And as you go forth, we assure you that you will always remain in our prayers. So congratulations to each and every one of you, and God bless you. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Wilson. I am so pleased to read the names of our Marian graduates today. Laura Acevedo. Allison Anderson. Dana Jo Bednowitz. Tashe Branch, Shannon Renee Bryant, Elizabeth Page Birch, Amber Carpio, Demetria Camille Crutcher, Paige Gore Quisson. Chad Darling, Daniela Dawson, Zoe Ann Dinehart, Willie Ashe, Rosaline Folan, Courtney Leanne Gambert. Carly Gibson, Sonia Hayes, William Brooks Hillhouse, Lauren Johns, Christina Cordilla, Nadia Mahama, Sarah Masterlers, Ronnie McDougall, Natalie Miller Binkley, Nathan Muller, Robert Perdue, Brittany Playstead. Amanda Post, Stephanie Ross, Elizabeth Smith, Michaela Staib, Taylor Nicole Stinson, Taylor Strenz. 
Victoria Sullivan, Lauren Tanaglia, William Windsor, and Stephanie Winterheimer. Congratulations, graduates, on your wonderful accomplishment. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I solemnly pledge myself before God and the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge and the practice of my calling. And will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge and the practice of my calling. With loyalty, I will deliver care as a missioner of health and I dedicate myself to devoted service for human welfare. With loyalty, I will deliver care as a missioner of health. And I dedicate myself to devoted service for human welfare. Good evening, BSN cohort of summer 2020. First, I'd like to congratulate each one of you in accomplishing this major milestone in your career. You have persevered not only through this accelerated nursing program, but you have completed this program in unprecedented times. Your commitment and ability to adapt to the changes in your learning environment has been nothing short of amazing. This adaptability will continue to serve you as you enter your chosen profession in nursing and as you adapt to the clinical environment around you. Watching you grow has been a rewarding experience for me as a nurse educator. I started my journey with this cohort while in Nursing 241 Fundamentals, and it has been a privilege to witness each one of you transform from being nervous through a skills check off to becoming highly competent graduate nurses who will provide safe, high quality patient-centered care. I challenge you to never stop learning. Commit yourself to be a lifelong learner in order to enhance your skills and competence as a nursing professional. Lead by example, by promoting continued development in those around you. This commitment to lifelong learning isn't just for your benefit or the benefit of the healthcare team members around you. This commitment will also benefit your patients, families, and communities that you serve. As you graduate today, you not only graduate as nurses, but also change agents. You are the next generation of nurses responsible for advancing patient-centered care in a complex and, ev and evolving healthcare delivery system. You are entering into a field of service to others. That commitment to service also includes changing the clinical landscape around you so you can achieve the best possible results for your patients. Don't be afraid to speak up and don't be afraid to change the environment around you to make patient care more efficient and effective for you as a professional, but also to ensure the safety of your patients. I'm proud of each one of you. I know each of you will go forth and accomplish great things in your communities, in your hospitals and clinics, and for your patients. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this journey and congratulations. One of the traditions of the Sisters of St. Francis is that we offer the blessing of St. Clair to those gathered for a special occasion. St. Clair was the first woman to follow St. Francis of Assisi. She was a woman of prayer and of service. Sister Gloria Gallagher, who taught at Marion for many years, put this blessing to music. Feel free to extend your hands in blessing as we offer this prayer for each of our newly pinned nurses. May Almighty
Good afternoon, students. I just wanted to come on here and wish each of you the best, uh, tell you each one how proud I am of you and to congratulate you. Um, you are not only embarking on a career change, but you are embarking on a way of life change. If done genuinely and with the right intent, nursing will change who you are to the very core. Carolyn Jarvis, whose physical exam and health assessment textbook we use in our teaching, once said, the character of the nurse is as important as the knowledge that he or she possesses. These are very important words to carry with you as you go. I wish you much luck and Godspeed on your journey. I will be here rooting for you every step of the way. Hola, espero estés bien. Y solo para decirte que hoy es uno de esos días en los cuales me siento muy orgulloso de ti por tus logros quiero felicitarte por todo lo que has hecho me siento muy feliz eres una gran hija te quiero mucho eres maravillosa sé que te ha costado trabajo llegar hasta donde has llegado pero gracias a Dios lo has podido lograr tanto profesionalmente como la profesión más difícil del mundo que es de ser mamá. Te amo, hija. Y muchas felicidades para ti y para todos tus compañeros. Hi, Shannon and class of 2020. Congratulations on completing the nursing program. I wish you much success and all that you do. Always remember to keep learning. Don't be afraid to ask questions and write things down. Go out into the world and do great things. We're proud of you. Hola, mami. Felicitaciones. Has llegado a un momento maravilloso. Vas a ayudar a otras personas. Te has preparado para algo increíble. Me alegra mucho que hayas llegado a este momento. Estoy muy orgullosa de ti, Laura. Te quiero mucho. Congratulations, Shannon. Woo! We're so proud of you, Seth. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you, Seth. We're so proud of you. Hayes, congratulations. You've made it to the end of this journey and we are so proud of you. You're going to make a wonderful nurse. God has seen you through and we are so excited. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Sister Hayes. We love you. Great love job. You. Muchas felicidades de parte de tu mamá y Michael. Te queremos mucho, nos sentimos muy orgullosos de ti porque sabemos de tu esfuerzo que has hecho para lograr todo lo que eres ahora. Eh, no hay palabras para decirte cuánto te queremos y, y bueno, ¿qué más te puedo decir? Que te quiero mucho. Muchas felicidades, hija. Tú puedes lograr todo lo que quieras. Bye. All right. Congratulations, Tanya. We are so proud of you. Shay, we're very proud of you. You've always worked hard. You've always been one to set goals and achieve those goals. This is just another one in the books. Keep up the good work. We're proud of you. Congratulations, Congratulations Shay. Congratulations, Shay. We're proud of you. You rock. We love you. Congratulations, Sonia. Congratulations, Sonia. Job well done. The family is so proud of you. Congratulations, Sonia. You did it. And I am so very proud of you. 
as this is an impressive, incredible achievement. I am so very happy to share in this joyous occasion of your graduation. I am certain that this is the first day of many, many proud, successful tomorrows coming your way. Congratulations and best wishes. May God bless you now and may God bless you always. Love you, Sonia. Congrats, Tay. Congratulations, Taylor. We're really proud of you. Love you. Congratulations on graduating from nursing school. We love you. We're proud of you. And you're gonna be an amazing okay. nurse. Okay. Yeah, say congratulations, mama. Congratulations. Congratulations, Daniela. Daniela, I am so proud of you and all your accomplishments. Congrats on nursing school and I look forward to see what you are going to be doing in your future. Congratulations, Shannon, on all of your accomplishments. Continue to do great things for others to follow. Love you, Auntie Fionn, Chastity, Karee, Nori, Liana, and Asher. Hey, Shannon. Wanna say congratulations. Um, I want you to know that I am as proud of you this day as I was the very first day that the doctor laid you in my arms. You was the sweetest little thing then, and you have always been my Shannon. I know that you probably never knew that, but you have always possessed a special place in my heart ever since the day that he laid you in my arms. I wanna say that I'm so proud of you. I'm glad you stayed the course to get your first degree, and I'm even happier that you stayed your course to get your second degree. I'm sure you will be an awesome nurse, in whatever field that you choose to take your nursing career in, I know that you will be awesome. I say to you today that I am proud of you. I love you. The world is out there. Go out there and get what's yours. I love you. Hey, Tori, congratulations. Ralph and I are so proud of you for, for everything you've accomplished. We wish we could be there to share this with you, but since we can't, yay. Congratulations, good job. Sonia Hayes, congratulations on your outstanding achievement. It hasn't been easy, but it is now time to bear the fruit of your labor. I am so happy that you are one step closer to having a successful and meaningful career in nursing. Congratulations, you did it. I am so very proud of you. My dear friend, Sonia, I am so very proud of you and your accomplishments that you have made. I congratulate you wholeheartedly. The nursing profession gained a rare jewel when they received the gift that keeps on giving. Let your light forever shine. May God continue to bless you. I love you. Congratulations, Sonia, on your graduation from nursing school. Your father and I are very proud of you. Sonia have always been a caring and loving person. Therefore, I know she'll be an awesome nurse to whomever she cares for along the way. Thank God for blessing us with such a wonderful daughter and friend. Sonia, may God continue to bless and protect you along your life journey. Hello, Sonia, your family, we are very proud of you. Two and a half years ago, life gave you a basket of lemons and you turned those lemons into lemonade. You are now graduating, becoming a nurse. You have one more step left to become a registered nurse. We are so very proud of you and keeping this family still together as you went through school. Hard work, great job. Bye, Mom, we love Bye. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations on your graduation, Victoria. We are so proud of you and know you will be an amazing nurse and bless so many people. I love you so much, darling. Congratulations, Tori. I am so tickled for you and so proud of you. This has been a dream for you for so long and not only did you pursue it with drive, passion, incredible intelligence and dedication 
Um, but you just knocked it out of the park. Accelerated programs are not easy. I have not heard one person say that that's a easy breezy thing to do and you have just kicked its butt and I am so proud of you and all that you have accomplished and I'm so tickled to watch you touch the lives of so many mothers and babies at Erlanger. You deserve nothing but the best and I'm so excited to watch that all unfold for you. I love you dearly. Take in this whole day and I hope it is the best. Bye and congrats! Congratulations Tori! We love you! Hey, hey, hey! Congratulations, Daniela. I'm so proud of you. We love you. Congratulations, Daniela. Hey, Sonia. It's Kim. And Bill. And we just wanted to congratulate you on your upcoming graduation. We know how hard you've been working over the past couple of years, and we're so proud of you. And I'm super proud of you because I've seen how hard you've been working, and you are still in the groove of being a mother, a giver, all that good stuff. Great job, girl. Holla. We love you. We love you. Congratulations, Tori. We love you. We love, love you. you. Congratulations. Sonia Hayes. The, the walkers, walkers are, are proud, proud of, of you. you. Hey, Sonia. We just wanted to take a moment and say congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment, and we knew that you could do it. We know that you will be an awesome nurse. Uh, we affectionately know you as the, the gift that keeps on giving. And we know that in this profession, you will give your heart and we're just so ecstatic for you. So congratulations, we love you. Mm -hmm. oh. Tori, God, congratulations. Hopefully I'm sitting next to you right now, but you have worked so hard for this moment. And I know you're going to show the same compassion and commitment to every single patient who is lucky enough to be placed in your care. You know, today we're celebrating not only the seeds that you planted in your past, but your future that's taking root today. And I know I speak for all five of us when I say that I could not be more proud of you. Here's to your beautiful, tomorrow. I love you so much. Hi, Sonia. This is our chance to tell you how proud we are of you. You did the hard work. You did the many nights of studying. And now you are receiving your diploma in nursing. We are so proud. I don't know how to express to you any more than we already have. Continue to grow and just know that we're waiting to see what you do next. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sonia, and many success in your new field in nursing. I know you'll be a good nurse and whatever you venture out to be in that field. So congratulations. Daniela, congratulations on graduating from nursing school. I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things that God has in store for you and your family. Congratulations. Hi, seniors. I'm so sad that we can't be together tonight uh, for me to meet your families and give you guys a big hug and tell you in person how proud I am of you. But I do want you to know um, just how incredibly proud I am of you for not only making it through this program during a worldwide pandemic, but to have thrived in this program and overcome and adapted all of the changes and just the craziness that's gone on um, in the world and in this program. Um, I wish you guys all the best of luck in everything you do. You're all gonna be amazing nurses. Um, I wish you luck on your boards, um, in your jobs, in your career. Um, I sincerely hope that our paths cross again. Um, professionally, I would love to see some of you guys, um, you know, as, as colleagues one day. Um, I consider all of you friends of mine and I'm just so thankful that uh, we got to meet in this program. Um, and I can only do what I do for a job because of you guys. So um, good luck, congratulations, enjoy tonight and all this time celebrating with your family. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Congratulations, Stephanie.
We love you. Woo! Shannon, we're so proud of you for completing the nursing program. Your determination, dedication, and discipline just blows us away. Today, we feel like the luckiest parents in the world. Shannon, on behalf of both parents, we congratulate you on your achievements, and we know that the nursing profession will be receiving one great employee and caring person. Good luck in the future. Congratulations. Congratulations. This message is for Daniela Dawson Martinez. I'm so proud of you. You've been an inspiration and a wonderful friend to me since I've met you a few years ago. And I am proud and honored to call you my colleague in healthcare. You're gonna be a wonderful nurse. You're a wonderful mommy. And I love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Go crazy. Hey Shannon, we just wanted to tell you congratulations on graduating and becoming a nurse. You'll do great. Congratulations, I'm happy for you. Be a good nurse. Congratulations, love you. Aslan wants to say congratulations too. Congratulations! congratulations. <laughs>